Welcome back to the devlog. We're going to take a break from Time Barbarian tonight. We're going to work on Skylost a little bit. This is one of our AGP teams, and um, there's uh, they're great progress. We're at beta now, but one of the shaders, the grass shader, is having some issues. So as you look here, we'll see the grass that covers the, the terrain, covers the territory. Looks pretty nice. Looks really good, nice and lush off in the distance. Pretty good performance on it. Um, it looks good, but at the edges of the of these little you know floating islands, we can see that the grass appears to be transparent. Although what we just saw there, we saw the transparency sort of vary just there. Um, what's that about? We're going to discover what's going on here with the grass and see if we can come up with a fix. Uh, so first order business. Let's just go and find the grass object. We're going to try and figure out what shader is even running on that grass object. So let's see here. Um, if I go to scene mode, and I'm going to start with the player. If I can find the player. Oh, that looks like the player. OK, so the player's there. Uh, that means this is the grass that I'm looking at right there. And we can see the, the transparency problem pretty well right there. Um, we see grass over the ground right in front of you looks good. And then here's some grass over a distant island. It's less good. And then the grass, grass over the sky, not right at all. Let's see if we can find this grass. So I'm in area one, and this is the land object. But I see here grass. This looks like the grass object. Yep, that'd be it. Um, maybe maybe we'll break it down and find the actual one. Yeah, right there, this one right here. Seems to be the grass that I'm looking at right there. Okay, so now I've identified the grass object. We're gonna ask what material is on that object. So I'm, I'm open my project pane so that I can select, just by clicking, it'll take me to the grass object in question. Uh, the grass material and so I see that this is indeed a custom shader called geometry geometry grass so that's where we're going to want to start um, let's let's check that out and edit the shader let's bring it over here where you guys can see here's the shader that we just discovered it's an HLSL shader. So this project is built in URP. Let's take a look at that really quick. Um, can I find the camera? Maybe the camera stuck to the player. There you go. And we'll see that the renderer is a universal renderer. And in universal renderer, that means, uh, I think that pretty much means we're not going to do shader graph. We're going to do these HLSL shaders or a pro yeah, sure enough, HLSL shaders. That's what we've got here. Um, if you haven't used one before, Unity has a custom shader language, which is basically a wrapper for HLSL um, that allows it to uh, put in some macros and then recompile things for whichever shader language is needed on your platform. Okay, so here we are. This is This is the custom shader for the grass. I'm going to... First thing I want to do, I always like to do, uh, verify that I even have the right shader. So I'm looking for the fragment shader. Here's the fragment shader. That's the pixel shader. You'll sometimes hear people call it a fragment shader or a pixel shader. It's the same thing. So to prove that I have the correct shader, um, what I want to do is, I'm going to keep this full screen for the video. What I want to do is I just modify the shader Okay, I'm gonna just modify the shader to something that's gonna stand out. So I'm just returning the color red. I'm gonna save that. It's not gonna let me save it because I don't have it checked out. So let's go check that out. It is. You know what, I will split the screen just to do this because uh, it's just too tedious. Um, it is Skyloss Dev Branch Assets Art 3D Models. 
a branch assets art 3d models environment geometry grass shader environment geometry grass shader right here so I'm going to check that out into a new change list so grass shader fix okay so that's going into a brand new uh, change list there. All right, we don't need that. Let's get this back to maximize. All right, what we do now, we save it, and then we'll just go right back to Unity. Unity will compile, will recompile and reload the shaders while you're running, which is fantastic. Allows you to do things like what we're doing right now, which is debug this. Uh, okay, it turned red. As you can see, that verified that absolutely we are using, this is the correct shader. So that's good, good start. We're off with, with a great start. This is the correct shader. Now my first think is, the problem is that's transparent. It should not be transparent. That should be opaque, right? This shader should be opaque. So let's go find out whether the shader maybe is accidentally labeled as a transparent shader. Where are we going to find that? We're going to find it in the pass definition. Here comes here comes a sub shader right here. Is this our one? Yeah, this is our sub shader. And it has a pass. This is the pass. The indents are messed up, I'm afraid. But uh, this is the pass that we're rendering right now. And it is, boom, as you can see, it's opaque. So, so much for that theory. Um, I was really expecting to see that that was a semi-transparent pass with blend modes, right? There was going to be some blend modes here. There are not. Um, and so, hmm, that's funny. We could prove it. Um, let's change the alpha to zero. Recompile. It didn't make any difference. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> you can see it, it blinked when it recompiled. Didn't make any difference. Um, Double prove it. I'm going to change the color. Boop. Okay. And at first rate, when I changed the color, I was like, oh, that fixed it. But wait, no, look closer. Um, it, it didn't. <laughs> it's just that yellow pops much better. Um, let's bring it back to the red. And we'll see. Yeah, we're still seeing through the grass. Um, you can see the edge of the uh, island through the grass. You're not supposed to be able to. So um, that's not the problem. It's not a semi-transparent. What are we dealing with here? So my next thought is maybe this is related to the distance. Um, like maybe this, maybe the shader is not Z writing. Why would that matter? Well, there you you can see there's a fog going on in this scene there is there is a fog in the scene for the distant objects well maybe the um, the fog is reading from the depth buffer to apply a, a fog as a post effect maybe and then if that were the case if it was if it was not if the grass was not writing to the depth buffer then it would be fogged to the color of whatever is behind the grass. So that could be what's going on. The grass here would look right because it's right on top of its ground. But here, it's in the far, far distance, and so it's being fogged up basically to infinity. Possibly. How do we test that hypothesis? Okay, that's a hypothesis. Hypothesis is, this is related to the fog. Um, we'll test it by We'll find the fog and just turn it off. Um, I have searched a bit, and you know what? Let's let's just do the search. Let's, what is the fog? What's going on with the fog? Oh, here's some stuff. Um, there's a fog volume. It's a fog volume in the general environment. Let's see if that does anything. Boop. Oh ho! Oh. Turn off the fog volume, and. The grass now 
isn't doing that cutoff thing. Let's look at it. Right? That looks it looks opaque now. Completely opaque. Fog volume back on. Yes. Okay, so we have confirmed the hypothesis. It's an interaction between the fog and the grass. What do we do about that? Well, um, I'll tell you what I did about it. Uh, I, next, I investigate what exactly is the fog. What is the fog? The fog is this material running this shader. What shader? Here's the volumetric URP fog um, shader. What does it do? And then I said, I want to do the same thing. I want to, um, I want to prove that I've got the right shader here. And what do I do when I want to prove the right shader? I just do return half four. Let's make it um, green. Oh, got to check this one out too. This one is sky loss. Uh, let's do the same thing we did before. Dev branch assets got to be in assets. Um, fog volumetric fog two resources. Fog volumetric fog two resources. Looks like somebody's been in here before. Um, volumetric fog two D shader. This one. All right, let's put that in our grass fix as well. Okay, we should be able to save this now. And when we go back, boop. Okay, we have changed the fog to green opaque, and that is what we got. So we definitely are in the right shader. We have discovered the shader that we need to do, and also we learned that that alpha does something. Uh, let's change the alpha and see what the alpha does. Isn't that interesting? Okay, so the alpha is related to the effect, uh, okay, in, in an odd way. So what did I do next? I went and I looked at that. I was like, let's just understand what the heck we're looking at. What kind of a shader is this? Okay, here's our, this is a transparent, and here's the blend mode. So it is using whatever color comes out of this fragment. It's going to use 100% of that. And then based on the alpha, it will blend uh, blend that with whatever's in the background. I'm gonna put a little note here for you so you know what I'm talking about. What we're doing is like screen color equals frag color plus, let me take out the spaces so we can imagine their variables. Frag color plus one minus frag color dot alpha times old screen color. So that's what's going to happen. Whatever was in there before, we're going to subtract out some of it, depending on how much alpha is in there, and then we're going to add in this output color. So somewhere in here, it must sample the depth buffer at that pixel. As it's rendering each pixel, it's saying, how deep in am I? And based on that depth, it's going to do the, the fog calculation, right? Um, so this, again, lends credence to my idea that perhaps the grass shader is just not writing to the depth buffer. Could it be that it's not writing to the depth buffer? It doesn't say anything. Um, Z right on. So maybe that's the problem. Maybe it just wasn't Z writing. Um, let's let the fog. We'll go the fog back to the way it belongs, um, and let's change this to fuchsia. The grass is fuchsia now. Fog is off. Okay, that didn't help. Um, so I definitely have the Z right on but I'm not getting any Z right. 
Um, or at least that's my that's my theory. Maybe I'm not getting a Z right for some reason. Okay, so um, rewinding a bit, I had a bit of a mystery there. Uh, I solved it, so let's just add it to the solution. Um, the theory, the hypothesis now, is that for some reason we are not writing to the Z buffer with the grass shader, even though we told it to do so. And um, I mentioned breaking down the scene uh, to show what's going on. If we did a scene breakdown, I think we would see that there is a Z prepass that is turned on. And where do we find that? We find that um, on the camera right here under depth texture. So if we go back to game mode, uh, in fact, let me go back to scene mode here and show you that depth texture is on. When I turn it off, this is, this is the puzzle. I turn it off and I'm like, well, wait a minute. It didn't, that didn't fix anything. But then I realized that's scene mode. That's the editor. That's not the game. The game is using this camera. In game mode, it did fix it. Check this out. Depth texture on, and we see the problem. Depth texture off, problem is fixed. I'm like, oh yeah, see, look at that, it's all fixed. And then you go, well, well hold on now. The world got awfully foggy all of a sudden. Right, and that's because the fog relies on that depth texture. So if I turn off the depth, te depth texture, the depth texture is just blank and it's rendering maximum fog everywhere as if there is nothing in the depth buffer. Uh, okay, so we'll turn that back on. But that tells us what the problem is. The problem here that we're looking at is that the grass shader does Z-write, but it does not Z-write during the depth pass. There's a depth pre-pass where everything uses a separate shader and our grass isn't doing that correctly let's go take a look at our grass again geometry grass shader here we are what what passes do we have we have a pass here that's just called that just has, doesn't have a name it's just the the main pass it's a sub shader for the opaque pass yeah it's got a pass um, oh, and here's another pass. We have another pass called Shadow Caster. And it's a very simple little thing that all it does is just return one, right? It's just, just return, basically. Um, that's the Shadow Caster pass. What we need is a depth pass. So we'll do that. Let's just go right in here. I'm just going to copy the Shadow Pass. Call this the depth pass. Um, and that would be light mode equals, is it light mode? Um, maybe it is light mode, depth only. Okay, uh, is that right? Padoop, and there you go. Grass is now opaque. Um, there you go. So that's that. Let's turn that color back to normal. Go back to our color pass and we'll disable the red. Let that recompile. And we're back to the nice, lovely green grass. And it's opaque. Okay. And the camera has the depth texture turned on. So that's our fix. Looking good. To look around to see if maybe there's a different shader. I saw there was a couple copies of the, of the material. Maybe make sure there isn't another grass shader somewhere that looks wrong. Let's go up here. Wait, where are we? Okay, is there any grass up here? Yeah, I see some grass and it's opaque. All right, looking good. One of the problems I saw earlier was here. Looking out, that looks good. All right, so that's the fix. The, after all of that, the fix was to identify that the grass shader did not have a depth pass 
set up. And if you don't set one up, you don't get one. Um, unfortunately, that's that's how it works. You do have to actually set one up. Um, and so there you go. That's the depth pass. And you just have to put in light mode equals depth only. And then I just copied, I mean, I just copied the shadow. Uh, I've got Z, Z right is on. Yeah, we definitely need Z right on. And yeah, okay. And then no, we don't need that line. It's not, it's not related. Um, make sure it still works. Oh, wait, it doesn't. Yeah, it does. Okay. So there you go. Um, that I will go ahead and put that on the shelf for you. And while while I'm here, let's show that. Uh, let's put that on the shelf. Um, let's take a look at what we've got working. The volumetric fog will revert. We did not do anything deliberately to that. And let's diff the grass shader. Okay, we don't need that line. We don't need that one. Um, so I'm gonna say get rid of that one get rid of that one that was just our experiment here's our new pass we'll bring that in save and that should now be the only change okay now that I'm happy with that I'm gonna push that onto a shelf shelved Okay, and I will go ahead and revert. It's just in case anybody sees that I have it checked out and they're nervous about checking it out also. Um, there you go, there's the fix for that. It is shelf number 177739. And I will shoot you an email about that um, uh, right after I finish up here. So okay. Grass is fixed, looking good. See you on the next log.